What's going on, all you fantastic freelancers? William here with a very special guest to give our predictions for Anthem's panel at PAX West. You know him as one of the hosts of Anthem Insider and one of EA's game changers for Anthem, Mr. Bags himself. How are you doing today, good buddy? Oh, what is up, William? It's an honor. You invited me over to your channel, and I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. And before we get into our predictions, I just think this is kind of funny. All of the people I've had as guests on your anthem so far have been foreigners, at least from my side of the world. We've had BSN Sofa Jockey, who's from the UK. Then we have Lazare from the country of Georgia. And now we have you from Greece. I think that's where you're from, right? Yeah, that is correct. I grew up in Greece. This is where I live. And Anthem has impressed me because it's not something like a game where the peak interest is focused on the West, like in the US. You see people from all over Europe. You see people from Australia. There's even somebody all over from Japan who doesn't even speak good English that is very interested and very active. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's very active on Twitter did not know that. So, I mean, I guess tallied that up to yet another reason why I love Anthem. But let's get back to the purpose of the video. Uh, the panel, Our World, Your Story, will be an hour-long panel where the story of Anthem will be discussed and potentially some other goodies. Bags, is there anything in particular you're hoping to see? Bioware is very cryptic, but at the same time, they're very specific on their titles. So EA Play, any three they were labeled as a demo and that's what we got nothing less nothing more for the pax panel i expect just that them talking about lore and maybe hint something about a demo or something i couldn't agree more and i'm i'm definitely looking forward to that lore seeing as your anthem got to start as a lore channel and one of the first lore channels on youtube for anthem content i'm looking forward to adding some more stuff to that roster and repertoire i'm also hoping to see some of the customization potentially if i, I know like you said they're only going to be talking about the lore or that's what they've got on the docket i'm hoping they're going to show a little more or something going on in the background behind the screen as they're talking through the lore uh, from concept art to actual gameplay and I'm also hoping to hear more about the demo or any kind of details in regards to that I guess that leads us into our next bit uh, what do you doubt we'll see I doubt we'll see pure gameplay uh, in terms of seeing the storm and the interceptor. I think they're not quite ready to show those yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. I doubt we're going to see anything from the interceptor or the storm. The storm is probably the most likely one. If we do see anything, we'll get to see it from its perspective. I've been saying in my Discord server, it's kind of like we saw the Ranger at E3 2017, the Colossus at E3 2018. Kind of makes sense that the next thing we would see is from the storm's perspective perspective, but I mean, who really knows at this point, right? And the Interceptor, while we did get that information at Games Radar that it is a gadget-wielding speed javelin, I don't think we're going to see it. I don't think it's ready yet. Uh, what, what phase would you say it's in? Like the, not the beta phase, but the... Uh... I think it's like you said, we saw the Ranger and they were very comfortable of showing that during 2017, but they didn't show a lot of the Colossus, which makes me think it wasn't that ready at that point. And now we saw a little bit of the Storm and a tiny bit of the Interceptor which also makes me think that they're going through the storm first and then finishing up the interceptor but you never know they might be they might have different teams working on each other and we might see them both as much as we want to see new gameplay let's get real what we're going to see is the lore that's the primary purpose for their panel of pax west what's specific in the lore that you want to see more of or hear more about I definitely want to see more of the Dominion. They're, they've piqued my interest. They are the kingdom in the north, and we know so little about them. The only thing we basically know is that they're ancient enemies with the freelancers. So I want to know why that is and what's their purpose, because Mike Gumbel said that there's no good and bad in Anthem. There's different shades of gray. I want to see how that is implemented into the lore. I'm excited beyond belief for more information about the Dominion, our enemies in the north, uh, the guys that are trying to not necessarily eliminate us, but harness the power of the Anthem of Creation to, I mean, do what the name implies, to dominate, to be the Dominion, to rule. They're neat. I'm hoping we're also going to get a little more on the Scars or something on, I can't remember what they're called, the Outlanders, the Outliers, the Outsiders, something like that, the other faction in Anthem, but just anything at this point would be nice to hear about. Uh, Shaper Storms is something we haven't heard anything about since E3 2017 was the last time we heard anything about them, right? What do you think about the demo, though? That's something that's been thrown around a lot lately. Uh, one of the most asked questions uh, to Mark Dara and John Warner. What, what's your feeling? Are we going to hear anything about it here, or is it one of those 
coming soon trademark as in three months from now so having played the game during gamescom and that was the e3 demo that i played i think that demo should make its way to the public and that is because everybody that played it gave back to bioware they gave feedback and all of it was positive it was mostly positive so i think it's it would be a good idea to show it to the public but uh john warner and brandon holmes last night they're both teasing really teasing and i don't know what's going on if they're gonna drop a demo date or if they're gonna release a demo i really don't know i have no idea mark dara said in a tweet that ideally he would want to have all four javelins ready to roll for the first demo that kind of leads me to believe we're not going to get it now uh especially considering the interceptor isn't quite ready and the storm is i don't know maybe just now getting ready to roll i think it would be neat if they uh, revealed or released the scars and villainy quest like you got to play at gamescom however i'm kind of doubtful they'll do that i think that was just more for the press to get to enjoy it and play through it i'm sure it's changed immeasurably since it was first revealed it's an old build the e3 demo is an old build and i believe i might be wrong i believe that it was already old when it was shown at e3 so it's several months old at this point and i don't think they spent any time you know fixing it or changing it so we're running a little low on time but i want to hear from you one last time just to recap what are two things that you hope to hear slash see at pax west I believe a safe bet would be that we're gonna hear about Fortasis because that's where the story progresses for people, for the players. And besides that, more lore in general, like Dominion, Shapers, Scars, how it all ties together, why they're fighting each other and all that stuff. And what are two things you doubt we will see? So two things I doubt we'll see or hear about is Storm Interceptor because I don't think they're fully ready yet. I don't think they're ready to be shown in a way that the public will receive them well. And as we saw, Bioware wants to show us stuff that is ready and it looks good and it doesn't look half finished. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not what Bioware does. I couldn't agree more. Those are my exact same thoughts on what we're going to see and what we're not going to see. At least we won't have to wait too terribly long before we find out what exactly we're going to see at the Anthem panel and what all they have in store for us. For the exact times on the Anthem panel, be sure to check the description below. We will be doing a live watch session in our Discord server and giving live commentary as the Anthem panel goes on. We hope you will join us. At any rate, freelancers, this is where we have to sign off. Bags, thank you so much for coming on and speaking with us. William, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me on. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to go subscribe to Anthem Insider. The link will be in the description below, as well as AI Bag's most recent article on his experience at Gamescom and playing through the demo. And a special thank you to the Your Anthem patrons for making this happen. I hope all you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Peace out, everyone.